Hi everyone, it's Miss Tina from the Menenborough Library. And so this week's craft are, are weaving turtles. Now, when we do our weaving turtles, the actual weaving part that we do is going to be called a God's Eye Weave. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do the weaving. So, you have your embroidery thread. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just tie the end of your embroidery thread right around the center of your turtle body that you made. You might want to double knot it just so that it's on there like nice and tight. And then when we do a God's eye weave, what we're actually going to do is you're going to pull it. You might have to hold your knot down there a little bit just to start off. And what you're actually going to do is first you're going to want to just start off by doing X's to just fill in that center part. And this doesn't have to be in like any specific order. You just kind of want to go from one section to another, whatever way you would like to. So it kind of just fills in that center. Actually show you more on this side because it's actually filling in more on that side. And you just want to kind of fill the empty spaces. You can go around the same spot a few times to just kind of give it that filled look. When you do your turtles, of course you'll probably have a different color body. You can make the body of your turtles for this any color that you want. That's the nice thing about the popsicle sticks is that you can use markers or paint on them and turn them whatever color you want. Alright, so once you've got like a good amount of the middle covered there, then we're going to actually start our God's Eye weaving. So what we're going to do for our God's Eye weaving, this is a a little bit harder to do um, backwards but so what we're gonna do sorry, is you're gonna actually go across two and then you're gonna wrap around the one and go across two again see and then you're going to wrap around, and you're going to go across the next one. You're going to wrap around. And when you wrap around, you're going to go across the next one, and then the next, and wrap around from the back, and over the next one and wrap around from the back and over that next one wrap around from the back onto the next one come around the back over to the next one and come around the back and you're just gonna keep going so it doubles so you keep that pattern and you're just going to keep doing that kind of going over the two and wrapping around the back of the one. I'm going to keep doing that for a while until you kind of fill in everything. Now with this you can see it's filling in pretty well. If you want it to fill in better, you can kind of use your fingers to move the threads a little bit. Um, so you're gonna keep doing this until you've got 
however big you want your inner shell to do. And then when you are done with your inner shell, you probably want to add a second color. You got two, you have two colors in your kits. Um, so when you add the second color, instead of having to like retie it a whole bunch, what you can really simply do is once you get to the end of your first string, you can take the start of your second color and just kind of hold the two together and you're going to tie them together and the easiest way to tie them together for this kind of a weaving project is you're going to take the two you're going to wrap them around your finger and pull and then you got this little knot and the nice thing is when you pull apart like this it's nice and strong so you can just kind of weave that into your into your the rest of your weaving string so once you're done with all the weaving i'm not going to make you guys sit through the entire weaving because it takes a lot quite a bit of time to weave it up but this is the kind of pattern you're going to wind up with and again this one is not completely completely done i still have more string here if i want to make it a little bigger but you can make your shell as big or small as you want and that is the weaving for our weaving turtles um once you're done with weaving it when you're going to want to take leave like maybe that much of your string once you're done weaving and you're going to want to glue it to the back there um if you prefer not to glue it to the back or if it's giving you issues gluing it to the back you can always just tie it around one of the legs like one of these little legs and just tie it really tight and it should hold really well too um so that is our weaving for our turtles this week i hope everybody has fun learning a new way to weave